welcome to the Catalyst Circle Proposal session of Governance Week. Um, I'm going to start by sharing my screen. Welcome, everybody. Um, we're here to talk about the Catalyst Circle and the proposals in Fund 7 to help fund all the operations of the Circle and the things that we're doing here. Um, and we, we want to talk about four key proposals to fund the Catalyst Circle admin team and oversight, which are kind of the core functions of what's going on. And then we'll also talk about three other uh, proposals that the Circle or various parts of the Circle have put forward to help extend what the Circle does or improve their effectiveness. Um, but if you're going to vote for anything, definitely vote for the core four, because that's what funds the Circle and keeps it going, rather than being a volunteer organization. Um, no, what can people imagine when they hear Catalyst Circle admin team? What does this mean? So, I'm sure the Catalyst Circle itself has been fairly well publicized, but maybe we could touch on that as well after, is what the Circle does and what it's all about. But the admin team is kind of behind the scenes. We are a team of um, facilitators, secretaries, treasurers, um, and ex circle members um, who get together several times a week to talk about the administration of the circle. And when I talk about that, it's things like keeping meeting minutes, um, it's about planning the town hall slides, um, it's about creating the agendas and making sure the circle has a solid agenda before the meetings. We also provide facilitators to facilitate facilitate the meetings. We have secretaries who record and take notes in the meetings. Um, and then we work with QA DAO to transcribe the recordings and get all of that put up so that everyone can see how the meeting went, um, watch how the meeting played out and have transcripts and timestamps so that you can jump to the relative position. So it, it's all about the administration and the, the back end stuff that happens that um, makes the circle function um, even better. Yeah. How, how many members are currently in the Cattle Circle admin team? There are currently two active facilitators. There are three active secretaries and three active treasurers, and then um, two other people participating, Felix and Stephen, um, who are admin team um, members at large, I guess. I don't know what the actual role titles would be, but we are about 12 people. Um, and most of us show up every week to talk about how we manage the circle and make it run better. Is anybody else here? Because we're all admin team members. Do you want to add anything? Did I miss anything that is important about what we do or how we do it? Maybe a last point, um, also maybe not only to Nori, to everybody who wants. How is the Catalyst Circle admin team initiative rewarded or paid currently? How does this work? The admin team itself. Currently, we were funded in Fund 6. Um, and when that proposal was put together, the understanding was that there would be one facilitator and one secretary. So the fund actually was funding two people. Um, and then shortly after we entered into the proposal and the voting, the admin team kind of formed organically as we started looking for facilitators. Three people stepped up and rather than have one person be the facilitator, we created a facilitator team uh, because we wanted to support each other and build up our skills and um, do that. And Nadim here was our first facilitator and I'm the facilitator for V2. So we formed the team. Um, and that was a really amazing experiment where we didn't actually just pick one person to be. The people came together and said, hey, we're all interested in doing this. Why don't we form a team around it? So that's kind of what happened. And then the next week, um, the call went out for secretaries and they had a breakout room in town hall and basically came up with the same solution that they wanted to make a team of secretaries. Um, so there were three of them, um, which was uh, really great to see. And then the facilitator said, hey, we should come together and form one team since we're going to be working closely together. So that was the real genesis of the admin team where these six, seven people coming together to form a single team 
um, with a shared purpose. Um, and then once we actually did get funding, uh, we now had ADA in a wallet and didn't have any good mechanisms or ways of dealing with the actual funds. So we put the call out for treasurers and three people stepped up to that as well. So they've joined the team as the treasurer team. So now we're a full team of secretaries, facilitators and treasurers. And it was really great to see that just kind of organically form out of the community and the people who are interested in doing the roles step forward and have joined the team. Yes. As everything is moving so fast, when did all this happen? Because you mentioned in Fund 6, but what does this mean in Fund 6? Um, I'm trying to remember back, but I think as it happened sometime between the Fund 6 proposal being submitted and being locked down and Fund 6 starting, because um, we were able to form fairly quickly. But I think Fund 6 Catalyst Circle had already been meeting and then um yeah i can jump in here nori yeah, because ahead. i jumped i hopped in as a secretary right in uh beginning of september and end of august i think right about in there so maybe after two of the first circle meetings maybe two or three um and yeah and been here ever since <laughs> And I think the circle did experiment. They they brought in initially a third party organization called Governance Alive to help facilitate the meetings and do the secretary roles. Mm -hmm. That didn't work out as everyone had wished. So um, a circle member themselves jumped in. So I think Victor jumped in as facilitator and and did a great job. But it was a kind of a, a heavy load for a member of the circle to actually facilitate as well, and because there's a lot of work behind the scenes to make the agenda and pay attention to the meeting flow and all that while having your own opinion. So that's where they wanted to reach out and create a separate facilitator team and secretary team. So that was kind of the genesis of it. And that came out of Circle V1. Um, and then we were fully in place with the facilitator to do the last few meetings of Circle V1. And then we jumped into Circle V2. And now we're gearing up for Circle V3 and, and working on that. And I, I should mention that um, once the circle convenes, like right now, the, the last circle meeting has happened. In between the last circle meeting and the next circle is inducted, the admin team takes over a lot of the functions of the, the governance. And that's primarily around running the election, um, making sure that governance day happens really well, um, that we have all the nominees selected, we have the, the position statements collected, we put those up on a website. So running all of the the mechanisms around the election and how that works is also a very, very important role of the admin team. And, and that's what we're all working on. Nice point. So let's have a look on the proposal. So. All right, let me resume my share. Um, so we'll walk through the, there are four key core proposals that are really needed to fund the Catalyst Circle itself, um, the admin team, which includes the treasurers and uh, the oversight team. So the first proposal here is sustaining the circle. Um, this is a proposal that's asking for 1,000 US dollars per circle member that is in an elected capacity. So that would be the stake pool operators, the funded proposal cohort, the um, CA role, the general ADA holder, and the tool makers and maintainers. I'm glad I remembered them all. Um, and it does not pay the Cardano Foundation or the IOG rep because um, they're coming in from those um, organizations and should be paid from those organizations. Um, and this is really to cover their participation of about 10 hours per week um, to attend the meetings, but also to do problem sensing and all the work of a circle member between meetings, um, collaborating with each other and the community on various issues and problems. So, and this proposal also has a small budget to cover some technology needs. So Miro board, Zoom accounts, whatever we need, domain names, um, running a website and things like that. Um, and because it is 
funding for five people. It's the smallest of the core proposals, but really one of the key ones. So definitely take a look at this one and give it your support. So the next one is the community governance and oversight. And this one is not a part of the circle or the admin team. There's a third arm that we should probably talk about, which is the governance oversight that is run by QADA. Um, and the purpose of this group is to survey, report, facilitate retrospectives and improve our governance processes. So this is a proposal um, to provide the oversight so we ensure that we are getting the proper return on intention with our governance initiatives um, and to provide some level of accountability and oversight on what's going on. So this is um, a key component of the governance structure. So it has its own budget and um, proposal broken up. And then the third proposal here is the CC admin team scope expansion. So this is, instead of having our admin team embedded as two people, a facilitator and secretary in the original fund six proposal, this is really to fund the team that has formed around it. So to support the team of facilitators, the team of secretaries and the um, bringing all of that together and also providing some technology funds around that as well. Um, so right now, the admin team is working um, not on a volunteer basis, but we're, we're splitting the, the amounts provided for two people amongst nine of us or something like that. So it's not a lot of money. So um, we just want to make sure that the work we do is sustainable, that people are rewarded for their participation. And this proposal seeks to fund the whole team as a whole uh, rather than just two people. And then the last one is the Catalyst Circle Treasury Management. Um, so now that we have a team of treasurers, this proposal will uh, fund their team to build a system that makes the Catalyst Circle operations frictionless and auditable when it comes to resource allocation. So I think that's a really great summary of the proposal and what they do. Um, it's also important that the treasury team maintain an arm, arm's length relationship to the rest of the admin team um, because they're dealing with the money and we want to make sure that there is no conflict of interest and that we have an independent group of people that are looking over the treasury itself for the catalyst circle and making sure that the funds allocated are spent appropriately. Um, so that's why it's a separate um, proposal so that they can have some level of independence from the admin team itself. Um, so those are the four core proposals. Does anybody here want to expand on any of them or comment for the, the community? What does the admin team act is if one of the proposals or several of the proposals will not be for, uh, voted and funded? I mean, uh, it's, as admin team, you're a crucial part of the catalyst circle. What happens now if the community doesn't value the efforts, for example, and there are no funds available to revert the engagement. Yeah, that's a good question. I think a lot of us are doing it out of passion. So I don't think we're going to dissolve as a team. Um, it could be that some of the things that we do don't happen as quickly or we start to do less. But the core facilitation, secretary of the meeting, town hall slides, those things will probably continue in some form. Um, but if it doesn't get funded, we do have a stake pool. So other parts of the community, if they so wish, could delegate to us and help fund some of the, the activities. Um, the pool ticker is admin, A-D-M-I-N. So um, that can also happen anytime. Um, and another avenue that we could look at is as the Catalyst Circle um, matures and combines with the bicameral model where we start to introduce the Catalyst um, technical council. Um, this body can start to look at catalyst parameters and start to um, play with them or make proposals on changes. And one parameter that we can definitely look at is to, as a community, fund governance in a way that we, in the same way that we fund CAs, VCAs, we give incentives to voters. Maybe we can have 
a chunk of the treasury every fund put aside for governance so that the circle doesn't have to spend lots of their precious time creating proposals, chasing funding, and making sure that the activities themselves are being funded. I think that's a, a tremendous waste of time. For the circle, they could be doing better things, um, problem sensing and coming up with solutions rather than spending their time making sure that they get paid. Um, so that's where I would love to see it go is we actually stop doing proposals and we just fund it as part of our governance layer. But yeah, that's one opinion. It may even be an interesting experiment as a proposal even to make a proposal like this via Catalyst and when the community agrees, then parameter change with IOG mm -hmm. and that the team gets directly paid. So the legitimacy and the decision-making process to the community anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. And what's about the circle supporting proposals? All right, so there's three proposals that we wanted to include here because there are three other proposals put forward by various parts of the circle to help support them in the work they do. Um, so the first one was created by the ADA holder representative. Um, and Allison is working with AIM to propose that we have an ADA holder engagement survey. Um, and trying to solve the problem statement that Catalyst requires a broad global base of engaged voters for decentralized governance. And one solution is to create incentivized surveys to obtain information from a statistically significant number of voters and distribute this data to guide improvements. Um, so it's really a proposal to fund a survey that will go out to the broader ADA holder community. Mm. Um, the second one is also put forward by Allison, um, which is called Catalyst Circle Mentorship. And the problem that this one is trying to solve is circle members serve for short periods of time. It's currently three months. Um, and mentorship from the previous circle is needed to ensure smooth transitions. Um, and right now, a number of Circle B1 members have stepped up to mentor Circle B2, which is awesome to see, but it's not an incentivized or rewarded activity. Right now it's done volunteer basis, and um, this proposal is just to ensure that there's adequate time set aside by members of the previous circle and that they're rewarded for this because it's important to pass along knowledge and ensure a smooth transition of um, procedures, policies, and the problems that they've been working on um, so that the new circle member doesn't have to start from scratch every time because there is a onboarding ramp up speed and we saw this time with circle v2 um, they spent the first couple of meetings ramping up and um, by the time we hit our stride it felt very very like the time was very short um, so i think this would be an important um, proposal to ensure continuity and stuff like that yeah, the Catalyst Circle funding mechanism proposal came out as a direct action from my time in Catalyst Circle version 1, where I represented the tool makers and maintainers. And we saw already, okay, in Catalyst Circle version 1, we didn't have any resources. And as human sensor array, your job is to empower and encourage the community to come up with solutions for problems which you identified also with the community, right? And when you don't have any re resources available, it's kind of difficult to build effective solutions also in a fast way. And the cutter circle funding mechanism so comes out of very first, we submitted a challenge proposal, which is the rapid funding mechanisms, which allows the community to submit proposals, which ex exactly address those points. So how can funds be fast, safe and transparent distributed to the community faster than the current three months funding cycles by Catalyst. This proposal is mostly a um, very simple, low-risk approach to say each representative of the Catalyst circle has their own budget of 4,000 US dollars. And this own budget can be used by the representatives, not for own users, but to incentivize or to revert engagements immediately from the community when they engage in building solutions for identified problems. And it's also a way to figure out how the accessibility 
to certain funds can be managed by the Catalyst Circle members themselves. So hands on governments already a little bit. Start with a low budget, figure out already, okay, how would the representatives use the budget? And from then moving forward. But mainly it's also to build a first framework in this regard to say, okay, Catalyst Circle does not only need to be rewarded, but they need also direct access to resources. But how does this look like? And that's about this proposal, yes. I think this is a really great avenue to, right now the circle doesn't have a whole lot of decision-making powers, but if we give them each representative a small amount of money to fund different things, it does give them a bit of discretion on how that is allocated. And that is a form of decision-making that we can experiment with, even if they don't have any other formal powers at the current time, because they are doing problem sensing and looking at problems that are arising. And some of those could be handled by deploying funds faster to different parts of their community for different reasons. So yeah, it's really exciting. And I think those are the all the proposals that relate to the circle and are being supported by the circle at the current time. There are many other proposals by various circle members and different things. So I suggest you check all those out as well. But um, we just wanted to highlight today those proposals that will really help continue the governance experiment that we're doing right now with the Catalyst Circle, the admin team, the treasurer team, and the oversight team. And we just thought it's really important to highlight that those things do are funded proposals. So it's up to the community to vote them in um, to keep the experiment going. Um, so yeah, thank you for your attention today.